DA has challenged uh, Eteguni Mayor Mkoli Sikaunda's claims that the recently reopened Umhlanga Beach is safe for visitors. This comes after launching the Eteguni festive season safety campaign yesterday. Umhlanga Beach was closed due to high levels of ekalaya and sewage spilling into the sea. But Kaunda is defending the beach readiness by promising to take a dip himself. DA members are waiting at the main beach to see this for themselves. Let's go to ENC's Leti Wimluli uh, for more details on this story. Sounds a bit petty to me and politics uh, at play there, um, Leti Wim. But tell me, have you seen the mayor coming there in his swimsuit? Well, Masejo, it's still a waiting game uh, at this moment. We have not seen the mayor coming through. We are with the DA, still waiting for him uh, to come and take a swim at the recently opened Umhlanga Beach. That's where we are today, and we've seen quite a few people actually taking a dip in the water, and uh, that is following the the the, the Etegun municipality recently opening um, this beach. We saw the deputy city manager taking a swim yesterday, um, and unfortunately, the mayor only took a swim at the Durban's North Beach. Um, the DA is questioning him as to why he has not taken up to their challenge and come and take a swim just to prove that the water quality is fine and that the E. coli levels are at um, an acceptable level. Um, we are now joined by the DA Eteguini caucus leader Tabani um, Mtetua. I want to bring him in um, and just to ask him about what are some of their concerns that they have with the E. coli levels in um, Umhlanga Beach. Um, Mr. Mtetua, thank you so much for, for joining us. You have challenged the mayor to join you here you want him to actually take a swim and prove that the water um, is, is, is safe to swim take us through some of your concerns that you have look we are here as uh, DA councillors and members of parliament as a challenge to the mayor who prematurely and recklessly declared that Umtanga beaches are ready for members of the public to, 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 to bathe in so we felt that if he as a first citizen of our city is confident that this water quality here is accept of a acceptable standard he must then lead by example be the one to dive in here first, then we'll follow suit. So his failure to come here proves that he's misled the public, then he cannot be trusted. Yeah. Yesterday we saw the, the deputy city manager taking a swim. Were you not impressed with him taking the swim? No, we're not, because we did not challenge the deputy city manager. We challenged the mayor, because the deputy city manager did not make that call. So the, the mayor's failure to come here proves, as I said, that he has misled the public and then there must be consequences. Have you actually gone to Ohlange and checked out the sewage um, that you claim is still spilling onto the Ohlange River? What have you seen? We were there yesterday. Uh, there are millions of liters of raw that are still flowing down the Ohlange River straight into this, into this ocean. So we do feel that this, this ocean here is not ready for anyone to, to bathe in. Mm. Have you spoken to any uh, basic, uh, basically environmentalists who have raised concerns? Um, have they shared the numbers with you? We are having a test team as DA Tewini that includes uh, specialists. So they have discouraged people from bathing in this water until such time that the E. coli levels drop. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday, while talking to the mayor, he did share that they are doing tests twice a week to ensure that the beaches are safe for people to swim. What do you have to say about this? That is not true. Uh, the tests in Tewini are done weeks before they, they, they are published. So the mayor, uh, once again, has misled the public. What we are calling for as a DA from today, that the mayor must immediately resign. In terms of the lab that they are working with, they are working with an independent lab. Um, he did share that during the briefing yesterday. You are part of the, 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 the exec team at Eteguini Municipality. Mm. You know about this laboratory that they are working with. Again, that's a lie. Uh, there's no independent testing that is being done. It is done in-house by Eteguini Municipality, mm. which is why we are calling for the mayor to resign. If he doesn't resign, we are going to, as soon as possible, table a vote of no confidence against him. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Masejo, those are the views of DA leader um, here in, in Neteguini, Utabani Mteto, just basically saying that if the mayor doesn't show up and actually take a swim, um, they are basically saying that they are calling for him to resign because what he was saying during that briefing yesterday um, was not true. During the briefing yesterday, they did share that they are doing testing twice a week to make sure that the water quality is safe and that the E. coli levels are okay for people that are going to be visiting Durban to swim in. Um, they are saying that the city is open and they are hoping to see thousands of visitors coming into the city this um, festive season. But the DA, of course, saying that Umhlanga should not be open. Uh, we are going to go to Ohlanga to check out that uh, spillage that they claim is there to make sure that it's actually still going on. All right, let's see when Luli live for us at Umhlanga Beach. Let's leave it there for now.